natural language processing is not an easy task. And when it comes to domain-specific language, things get even trickier. Standard pre-trained benchmark models aren't always useful in industry-specific applications. So how can we train a text classification system on custom data? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. My name is Yufang Guo, and on this episode, we're going to look at how to use AutoML natural language to build a custom text classifier using a data set from Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is an incredibly useful tool, and it has saved me on many occasions. But sometimes it gets tedious tagging questions, and I wish it would automatically generate or at least suggest some tags when posting a question. So today, we will try to build a machine learning model for recommending tags for Stack Overflow questions about machine learning. To get started, we're going to need some training data. I've spoken about the BigQuery datasets program before, and it comes to the rescue here again. With over 25 gigabytes of Stack Overflow questions here, I think we've got enough material to work with. Using AutoML natural language is quite convenient for our use case, because I don't necessarily know what I want to build initially. It would be great to be able to easily experiment with a couple of different options. So to start out, let's just try building a simple classification model that just differentiates between whether a question is asking about TensorFlow or other, something else. The SQL query we're going to use to pre-process this data, it's a little bit involved. We'll combine the title and the text fields together into one long string of text, strip out all that HTML formatting tag nonsense. We don't need that. And uh, we'll replace those vertical bars in the tags with commas. So we'll limit our questions to only be those that are tagged with TensorFlow, Keras, Matplotlib, Pandas, and uh, Scikit-Learn. That way, it's just machine learning topics. So at this point, you might be wondering if we shouldn't just make a tag recommendation system by writing, say, an if statement. In some cases, you'd be right. Uh, but there's definitely still questions out there which don't mention the word TensorFlow, even though they are about TensorFlow. So to even things out and prevent the model from using the word TensorFlow to basically cheat and find those questions about TensorFlow, let's replace all of the obvious words with, uh, let's say, the word avocado. Uh, for your word model, you can choose a different food. You know. Now that our Stack Overflow questions are all about avocado datasets and avocado classifiers, we can use AutoML natural language to train a model that decides whether a question is about TensorFlow or something else. Training with AutoML natural language is very straightforward, and uh, you just click Train. It seems to have yielded good results for us. And we can test with a question from outside of our training set. Here's one uh, about the .NET framework, and the model seems to correctly recognize that it is not about TensorFlow. Great. So now we can look at something more useful than just TensorFlow or not. Labeling the questions with up to five different tags all about those different machine learning libraries. We can uh, use our data set just as before and replace the library names with avocado. And we'll need to update the labels so that instead of just TensorFlow and other, we have all five libraries represented. And we can see in AutoML natural language that the data sets are roughly balanced. And once we wait for the training to complete, we actually have quite some good results from the training. I was very happy with this. AutoML natural language shows not just the training scores, uh, but it also shows false positives and false negatives for each of those five classes. So this helps us spot potential errors in our data or errors in the model. We can try a couple of different sample questions and paste them into the predict tab of the interface and see if the tags and the scores are reasonable. And in our case, they seem to have turned out pretty well. AutoML natural language allowed us to quickly and easily test out some ideas about our data with different ways of labeling and training that model. We didn't have to deal with tokenization, word representation models, or embeddings. All we needed to do was have an understanding of our data set and the task we were hoping to achieve, and then see if the system could make a model that was suitable for our use case. This meant 
that we could focus on the problem we are trying to solve, tagging Stack Overflow questions, rather than figuring out how to model text. Now that we know it's possible to build this model and that the data is there, we can weigh the trade-off between building a custom model ourselves versus just using the model that we already made from AutoML Natural Language. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. And if you enjoyed it, click that like button and be sure to subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For now, check out the expanded blog post I've linked below in the description for more details and examples. And be sure to check out AutoML Natural Language and see what interesting models you can build. Thank you.